as many of the so-called Latin tribes as there is of the kingdom of Judah. And the same goes with other camps. In Chicago, you got a lot of Iscarites and I would say Ephraimites. That's in the Chicago GMS camp. It says, when I have bent Judah for me, fill the bowl with Ephraim, and raise up thy sons, O Zion, and, and thy sons, O um, Isaiah, and Kazak, high priest of Zion, high priest Kazak, you say the daughters of Zion, or the sons of Zion, it's talking about Judah, no, Zion is talking about the whole nation, against thy sons, O Greece, which are Edomites, and made thee as the sword of a mighty man, the most I'm going to make us mighty. And the Lord, 14 verse, Zechariah 9, verse 14, and Yahweh shall be seen over them, now we just read that in Zechariah 5, and his arrow shall go forth as the lightning, and the Lord, those are the missiles. Isaiah 34, my sword shall be bathed in heaven, and shall come down upon Idumia. This is why Edomites never go into I do they stay away from the subject of Edom. Because the top scholars know that they're Edomites. They know the the ruling class right now are Edomites. Esau is the end of the world, Jacob is the beginning of, of it that followeth. And the Lord power shall blow the trumpet and shall go with whirlwinds of the south. The Lord of hosts shall defend them and they shall devour and subdue with sling stones and they shall drink and they make a noise as to wine and they shall be filled like bowls of bowls, of bowls and as the corners of the altar. And the Lord their power shall save them and the Lord thy power shall save them. Save who? Israelites, Zion, in that day, and that's ta only talking about referring to the elect as a flock of his people, for they shall be as the stones of a crown lifted up as an ensign upon his land, and, and in other words, we're going to be beamed up into the, into the ship. And it's one ship, which is Yahweh's side ship. That's in Revelation 11 chapter. For how, how great is, is his goodness, and how great is his beauty. Corn shall make the young man cheerful, because we're going to be in the kingdom. Do you know how many things you can make from corn? And new wine, the maids. Anyway, with that, well, you know what I'm going to do? Let me just throw up some uh, precepts right here. The Revelation, the 10th chapter, you can really read the whole chapter. It's, it's a short chapter, but um, John encountered that little book from an angel in a gigantic, what the white man would call a UFO, so-called white man. Uh, 2 Kings 2, uh, verses 9 to 12, you can read on down, um, that's talking about um, during the time period of uh, Elisha and Elijah, how Elisha, Elijah was taken up into the char uh, chariot of fire, so did Elijah ever die? No, Elijah, what, Eli what happened with Elijah was he was beamed up into the ship, and his body was changed. Pursuing to uh, 2 Corinthians, uh, the 15th chapter, around about the 50th verse, 52nd verse, it said, We shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. So when we, the hopeful elect, I say that humbly, get beamed up, our bodies are going to transform into a superhuman, extraterrestrial, angelic body. So that's what happened with uh, Elijah. So did he, did he die traditionally? No. He, he just transformed into that, into that body that's eternal in the heavens. Second 
Corinthians, the uh, fifth chapter. See, Christians don't know this. Zechariah 9, verse 12, one down, start from 11, I read that. Isaiah 66, verse 15, Isaiah 31, verse 5. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 1, verse 6 to 11. Uh, Daniel 7, verse 9. Psalms 104, verse 3 and 4. Psalm 68, uh, verse 13. And jump to 17. Now, in Psalm 68, it takes you back to Deuteronomy. Let me see if that's on the list. I can't believe that's not on the list. That's a major one. When um, Moses received the commandments uh, from his right side, the angel, the Lord, gave him the commandments um, by way of uh, laser technology on, on the stones were written perfectly. Ezekiel 1, you can read the whole, pretty much the whole chapter, and that go, and that describes the uh, ships. Now there's a movie that came out, I remember as a, a young man, actually a child, it came out in 1970, if I'm not mistaken, it called, if I'm not mistaken, called Chariots of the Gods, and I remember sitting down and watching the whole movie. As a child, I was intrigued by it, and they mentioned in the movie Ezekiel, the first chapter, and these are Edomites, or they also talk about the Ark of the Covenant, and they said some college students put, you know, they went by the specification of the scriptures of the Ark, and they built the Ark, and there was uh, electric magnetic powers coming from the ark and they had to take it apart. Psalm 91, that's another good one, the whole chapter, Matthew 24, Isaiah 60, verse 8. 2 Maccabee 5, verse 1.